coach like to start your portion of the media conference? Get your thoughts about the game, general uh, thoughts that you have, and then we'll open up for more specific questions. Go ahead. Okay, sure. Well, we ran into an excellent Barneville team. Uh, they're high pressure, and they hit the shots, uh, particularly in the first half. We dug ourselves a hole and, uh, and tried to get out of it and came close anyway, but it wasn't quite quite good enough. And I just uh, want to say that I'm really proud to be coaching the South Shore girls. They, they gave it a, a good run and uh, never quit for the, for the whole game. Great, okay, let's open it up for questions. That's the first one. Were you surprised that their press affected you so much when you're in a hurry? Yeah, I think, especially in the first part, um, we had way more turnovers than, than I wanted to have, and we worked on a press break, and. We've been pressed pretty much the whole tournament season, but I don't know if it was you know the the new atmosphere with the, the bigger crowd and the bigger floor and the excitement of the state tournament. I think that usually helps you know adds to the jitters. So I th think that's what affected us in the in the beginning. And I think we settled down a little bit better in the second half and didn't have quite as many. And maybe I'm wrong on that, but I, I think I think we did a little better job in the second half. Coach, I just want to ask, you know, I know every looking at the media guy who thinks that sort of stands out as that 42 enrollment. Uh, with, with that number, what are some of the challenges with that? And does that make it a little bit more gratifying being able to make it down here with, uh, you know, only having 42 people in that school? Right. First of all, it is very gratifying to have a little tiny school come down and make it a state tournament. Uh, the challenges are practices, really. You know, um, we get 10 girls out total, and um, having a squad to practice against our first five that can be a threat to them to make them uh, work hard is difficult. Uh, we've tried to get around that a little bit by having the boys practice against uh, our, our first squad uh, second half of the season and that, that helped quite a bit just to get a little more aggression there, a little more competition for, for spots. Uh, that, is, you know, that is one of the drawbacks basically. We have a varsity and a JV so there's 10 girls so guess what? <laughs> You're going to play no matter what. <laughs> Coach, can you describe what this week was like for you, considering how many different hats you have to wear? <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, uh, I needed a lot of help from the, the from the staff at, at South Shore, and they stepped to the plate. You know, we had teachers helping out, doing various duties for me, uh, getting subs in. It was just uh, you know a very exciting time. But right, it was it was uh, interesting. But with all the help from the staff, we we pulled through. So. Uh, for you guys, uh, being the first year, I think it's been about 10 years since you made it down here. What was the key to this year's team of being able to you know, actually get down here? Um, I think our key was to um, relax and play as a team. I think we did that really well this year. Um, we did lots of passing down low from high to low. We do post-ups pretty well. We have some really good shooters, and I think it worked all together, and it came together. Uh, can either of you talk, or both of you talk about um, the uh, the family connection with the two sisters and your father being the coach? Um, your sister graduating this year. How, how much of an experience was that for you? Um, it was really cool playing with my sister at State. Um, we didn't really know we'd get down here, I and mean, we thought that maybe we could, but just getting there is a really cool experience. And being with my sister and my dad coaching, it's really awesome. <laughs> And I'll, I'll second that. Um, it was a fantastic experience. My, my girls responded really well to, to my coaching, and uh, we, we left it off. You know, I left it on the court, and uh, I don't think we had too many family feuds anyway when we got home. So, Coach, uh, I think you took a team down in the state in 04, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, could you compare Madison to Green Bay, the venues and the experiences? Differences, similarities. Yeah, actually, I was I was coaching the boys that year, but I did come down with the team because I was a principal of uh, South Shore. 
Um, I think Green Bay is a, is a great venue, and uh, I think they're doing a nice job for us. So um, I really like the atmosphere of the, the facility here and the way people organized it. So, you know, I, it was very similar to the way it was down in Madison anyway. I think this is going to get you to talk just a little bit about how I felt the end of the third quarter. You, I think it was a 12 to 2 run. You cut it to 5, and it seemed like you had a little bit of momentum there, but then maybe the period ended at, at a bad time for you. Yeah, we were, yeah, unfortunately, the, it did end at a bad time for us because we were we had them on the ropes there for a while, I don't know what on the ropes, but at least uh, making a run on them. And then they got the composure of, you know, well, my time out with three seconds to go probably didn't help a lot. I didn't realize there was three seconds left. I was hoping, to, you know, I thought there's a little bit more time than that to try and save that one. So I think they had two timeouts. They got their composure back, uh, the other team, and I think they hit, uh, I know they hit some inside shots on us. If I remember right, beginning of the fourth quarter, that kind of hurt us. And with Emily and Megan with three fouls each, I told them to kind of back off. And uh, you know, I didn't want them to foul out, and maybe, um, maybe they needed to be a little more aggressive on there because I know we kind of let them. Let him inside for probably probably six or eight points anyway in the in the fourth quarter. That I think if we wouldn't have had that many fouls, they would have stopped. Um, yeah, the third quarter I thought we did really well, especially towards the end. And um, I think we just first we thought I think we got a little too confident. I mean I thought um, that we could catch up and we could beat them, but then we kind of started to back off and. I think we were just a little too excited about the point, the basket at the time, so we wouldn't like hustle back and do our best at defense. I think that's what really hurt us the most. Any other questions? See you now. Thanks for coming.